played my fourth uh, first class match here at Lords and Colin Cowdery said about you know well look don't uh, wear a suit or wear a jacket collar and tie won't you and he was very adamant that you know when you come to the, the centre of, of, of world cricket that um, things were done properly and uh, and they certainly were all round from the the club here and Nancy in the kitchen who'd make us breakfast if we'd travelled up early from Kent it was like a it was really was a, a very warm place to play and the first time you took uh, five wickets at this ground was in 1969 against New Zealand it was also a 10 wicket haul in the match um, what do you remember from that well, game? I think what I can recall is that the wicket was, was wet and I can remember bowling a lot at Glenn Turner who was I think making his debut I have an idea he batted throughout the innings which on a wicket that was really doing uh, enough um, he batted brilliantly and it was nice for me to get a haul like that and uh, in fairly early in my career so I was I was pleased to get on one that turned and in 1974 against Pakistan 13 wickets in that match yes yeah, that was special. nice I enjoyed that <laughs> I, I there, there were a lot of players I've, I've bowled a lot of Pakistan over the years and uh, people like Zahir and Asif and Mushtaq and Majid wonderful players and it was nice to get them on a wicket that turned for a communicate for, for, for once. And, it, and here, some water had seeped under the covers. And I, I bowled round the wicket to the left, to the right-handers for some considerable time. And lo and behold, I wasn't getting anywhere. The ball wasn't turning. And then I bowled a Wasim Raja, a, a left-hander. And suddenly the ball seemed to be turning. And so I bowled over the wicket and bowled across the, the right-hander. And we were, we were in business. And... Uh, that was one that I'll always remember, getting eight for 50 here at, the, at this, well, this, this great ground. I always took the attitude, as a spinner should, I think, that if the ball is turning, there's a responsibility on your shoulders to go out there and get wickets. And, and I think that was it. And, um, and it spurred me on, obviously, the fact that the ball was turning and it was a wet one. And we filled it absolutely brilliantly. We caught everything. It was, was one of those days to remember. And the nickname, Deadly. That came from Australia. Um, we were looking to uh, approaching a, a test match and they were saying that the wicket was rather brown and bare and that um, Underwood would be in his um, element and that I would be deadly on this wicket. And, and it was John Hampshire and Don Wilson, two Yorkshire cricketers, who kept on as taking the mickey out of me about the name deadly. And then it stuck. And really, it was quite a nice name to have, actually, and I, I didn't mind that compared to some of the things I've been called in my time.